Hey there, and welcome to another exciting Dazlite video tutorial. I'm Simon Bennett, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about controlling your lights in Dazlite. So we're going to add some lights, we're going to position them and we're going to do some nice fanning as well. So we'll be fanning some moving lights and making some gradients and things like this. So I'm going to start by just adding some moving heads. So we're going to click the moving head here and I'm going to add 8. So I can just type in 8 here and press patch. The lights then appear in the 3D visualizer and I'm just going to position these. And basically to do this, we can select the moving lights and this position wizard's useful just to put them into a line. So we can go like this. That'll do for now. And I'll just make this smaller again. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have a look at the 2D fixture window here. So as I was saying in the introduction tutorial, we have a little square for each different type of light here. And we can move these squares around like so. We can do a multi-selection by dragging a box around the fixtures and moving them all together. And you can use Command on Mac or Control on PC to select specific fixtures, just like this. There are a few other little tools which make it easier to position your lights. So if you've got a selection made, you can actually expand this, like so. You can rotate a selection as well. So imagine I wanted to take these and rotate them. You can do this with the center dot just at the top here. You see this little icon of an arrow and I can do this to kind of rotate a lighting fixture. So I could rotate these this way, could rotate these this way. So we have something like that. We can also position the lights in various different shapes. So for example, imagine I wanted these lights in a simple line. This is the shapes wizard just here. So if I click this little arrow, I can position them in a line like so. Or they can go in a circle. So there's various different ways of positioning your lights. In fact, let's have them in one line, just like they are in the 3D. You can also position your lights in a matrix as well. So if you're using a lot of lighting fixtures and you want them in a matrix, um, I'll just show you a quick example on Universe 2. So I'll go to Universe 2. Let's say we've got loads and loads of RGB lights. Um, let's say we've got 100 RGB lights. So we'll type 100 and hit patch. So here we have the 100 RGB lights, and if we go over here, we can position them into a matrix. So this will automatically create a 10 by 10 matrix. Now obviously lights are not always positioned in left to right order, so if you need to create any changes to the fixture order, you can click this arrow here, and then you can click this bottom icon, so this allows you to change the order of the matrix. So we can choose the amount of rows and columns, so we could choose 20 by 5, for example. And at the moment, they're numbered left to right, but maybe they're numbered from top to bottom. So you can do this and click OK. So now this is made a 20 by 5 matrix, and if you have a look at these little numbers here, instead of them going from left to right, they actually go from top to bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to remove those because we're not going to use them right here. So we have our eight moving heads. And what we'll do first is switch the light beam on. So we'll press the light beam on button, which is just down here. 
and we'll position these in the center so that's this little button over here but there's some nice other little options available which I'm going to show you so the first one is the fanning so to create a fan for the colors we basically right click the color wheel and we go to HSV and if I go up here I can select linear fan from left then I can select a second color okay so what this is doing now is from left to right it's moving from the pink we selected all the way to the blue that we selected and if I move this in it's now ranging from the pink to the yellow you can move the range as well just by dragging in between the two points and dragging up and down like so so you can very easily create some really nice looking effects this way and it doesn't have to be from left to right for example if I did from center and then just shift this range so now we've got the pink in the center and it's moving to the bluey green which is on the outside and I can change this as well so here you can make some really nice looking effects now notice at the bottom here the fixtures aren't actually in the same order I guess this is because I uh, rearranged them before but there we go we can just select all and press that button again um, in fact something I want to mention now is um, about fixture indexing um, every time I click a fixture you've probably noticed a little number appears at the bottom so you hear we see here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when you use one of these uh, little positioning buttons, it's going to position them in the order of the index. So for example, if I position these again now, it's going to position them back into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course these are out of order with these. But this quickly allows you to set a various amount of different positioning orders now if we deselect everything and then click the select all button which is this one here this is actually going to index them in DMX address order so you see we've got one two three four five six seven eight if you ever want to position your lights back into like a simple line and you know perhaps they're all over the place, you've mixed them up like this, you can't remember which order they were in, all you have to do is just select that select all button, click a line, and it's just going to put them back there, just how they were before. What we're going to do now then, we've got the linear fan and the color. We can do this on any type of channel. So for example, let's try this with a dimmer channel. So if I select my lights here, we go over to the dimmer. And if I select linear fan from left, two dimmers now appear. This is your starting dimmer and this is your final ending dimmer. So if I take this down, we've now created a gradient for the dimmer. And again, we can do this in a variety of different ways. So we can go from the sides instead. So it's really nice for creating waves and dimmers and things like this. Now it's most useful on pan and tilt because this is how we create a fan in Dazlite 4. So for example, if I go over to the pan and tilt grid, so by default all the lights are moving together imagine I want to create a fan so where all the beams are kind of positioned in an arc so to do this we go up here we select linear fan from left now when you're creating a fan in this case we only want to do this on the pan channel we don't want to mess about with the tilt therefore I'm going to use this fader at the bottom just to make sure that this the tilt stays exactly the same and all I need to do is just click this fader and move it like so and as you see the lights create a fan and I get two positions here now if I click in an empty space in this grid and drag the lights will move together so I'll go like this 
I can move this fan around so you see now we've got this imagine I want to move the fan up and down we can do something like this there we go that looks great so that's basically how you can create a fan with a pan and tilt channels okay another feature I want to show you is this relative mode so if I just deselect my fixtures and select them again okay so imagine now I want to move this fan well I've only got one point here and as soon as I click this point all my lights are going to snap together again and I don't want this to happen I actually want them to move relatively to each other so I can kind of move them all together move the fan at once so to do this we click this button here which is relative mode and as soon as I click relative mode you kind of see all these little dots for each light so each dot represents the position of each of the lighting fixtures and if I move these around I literally just need to drag anywhere in the pan and tilt grid and all the lights will move relatively to each other so it's very cool so that's relative mode now if I didn't have that selected as soon as I click on this point everything snaps together again and you see now I've lost my fan and that can't be edited so then the only the only way to get that back is to position the lights again go up here linear fan from left and then reposition that fan there we go so that's relative mode and that's really useful if you want to move your lights together relative to each other and you want to see the position of each individual light on the pan and tilt grid so that's basically uh, everything I've got to show you for the uh, positioning and the controlling of the lights. Um, in the next tutorial, we're actually going to start creating some scenes and look at some of the more advanced scene properties.